Hey everyone, it's Delicracy here, obviously, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Hampton Falls Part 9. I hope you have your tea ready and you're ready to sip because I am so excited to be back recording and creating drama because that's what we love to do in The Sims. Also, thank you guys so much for being so patient while I have been away on holiday and then some of you guys probably know that I was sick and that's why we haven't had any new videos for quite some time because I had, I think, food poisoning and then an infection on top of that. It wasn't a good time. But we are back and I am so excited to start playing, so let's get into it. Ooh, it's hot today. So I was really, really pleased to read all of your comments saying that you wanted us to play more families. I was kind of honing in on Crystal Harris and her family. So we are going to start off with the Davenports today. And a lot of you guys have been requesting the Mikitanis as well. So we will hopefully go to their household halfway through this. Uh, we actually might visit their household. That might be a good idea with this family. And yeah, I was just so pleased to hear that you guys wanted to to explore more families because I was a little bit nervous that all the swapping and changing between households might confuse you guys but it turns out you guys are just like much more intelligent creatures than I had anticipated so uh, you guys you guys don't mind you like the swapping I like the swapping we're all happy and oh my lord and lord Tyler your phone is going off a uh, quizness plan Ajax was caught using his phone to look up answers during a quiz today Ajax, how could you? So he got sent to the office. Uh, so what do we want to see? Retake the test with no phone, lowers responsibility, raises conflict resolution. Um, a failed quiz should do it. Have him apologize to the class. Oh, that's so mean. I think have him retake the test. Retaking the test is annoying. Uh, so there we go. Nice. And here we have Papa Davenport, Tyler. I always forget Tyler's name. He's just having a little bit of a workout. This is a very active family and this is probably the only family with a good marriage, <laughs> to be honest, like a healthy marriage. Uh, let's just go all out. And yay, Ajax did get a little bit of performance gain too. So um, yeah, I, I feel like I can't spoil this marriage between him and Destiny. I feel like that would be really awful. Um, but what might be nice is maybe he could have some of the guys around, a little bit of guy time, you know. So let's maybe get Tadashi, uh, Tadashi to come over. Oh, whoa, we don't really know anyone. What? I mean, we knew Edward, but he, he got knocked off. Can't believe Mr. Davenport doesn't know anyone. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys. I just realized that one of my teachers from high school was called Mr. Davenport. That's really oh, weird. Oh, yeah, he didn't look anything on. like uh, Mr. Davenport, Davenport in this though, so it's okay. Ray, he's talking to the cat. I love it. Okay, so where is Tadashi? Oh, he's just invited himself in. Love this man. He's such a powerful man. Uh, I feel like he has a lot of respect in this town because he moved in with his kids and they're kind of new to the town. And I feel like that would have been hot gust for everyone in this community. You know, that like a hit music composer was moving into the town. <laughs> Who should they hang out with? Uh, well, there's Terry. And in the last part, we discovered Terry has a secret hobby. Uh, there's Mr. Ortega, who we don't really speak to very often. He's out at the moment. Uh, Terry, we love Terry now that he has a little bit more depth to his character. What about Mr. Lockwood? Let's go to the Lockwood's house and uh, hang out, hang out over there. Uh, so we'll take Tadashi. And Morgan is, of course, having a secret relationship with Mr. Lockwood. I feel like it may get to the point where he might want to leave his wife, Larissa, for Morgan. I think Morgan's so good at manipulation. She really wants money and power, and he's a very powerful man. So I feel like he could be tempted to leave Larissa, but I don't think Larissa would let that happen if you know what I mean. There might be a bit of poisonous puffer fish going on, snuck into someone's meal. Who knows what Larissa is capable of. Okay, come on in. All right, where is Mr. Davenport? Okay, well, Larissa is here. Uh, Tyler is very charismatic, much like a lot of the other people in this town. He's like, oh, Larissa, you're looking fabulous today. She's like, oh, thank you. I love her look, but I feel like I'm already over her clothes. I feel like we need a Hamptons makeover soon. 
Um, but we have so many families to make over. I feel like we should only do one family at a time. So comment down below what you think about doing a makeover of one of the families. Um, but she'd be such a good hostess for the most, so she would definitely be asking Tyler all about how Destiny and the boys are, and her daughter is dating his son. It's interesting hearing a lot of you guys say that this series reminds you of Riverdale, Hampton Falls, and it's totally not deliberate, but I did watch some Riverdale, so maybe subconsciously. <laughs> anyway, so it is 4.13, uh, which means, you know, maybe we should get a no Noah to come around because I feel like Noah is the boyfriend of Bianca and oh Tadashi play for us oh my god what a treat hit music composer playing just out on the street oh he's a maestro he's a maestro and he's ridiculously good looking and he's a dad Ooh, it's getting hard in here. Stop hitting on the Sims. All right, so Noah is here. Uh, now, I think, okay, the thing with Noah is he does have a girlfriend, Bianca, like I said, and his brother, who's really geeky, is totally in love with Bianca in secret. Like, it's his ultimate crush. I feel like it's more than a crush. He's like fully in love with her and his brother dates her. If you guys remember, Noah is gay and Noah actually has a little bit of a crush on his best friend, Colt. Now, a lot of you guys were really upset when he didn't end up getting with Colt um, and Colt started getting interested in other Sims. He does have an interest in a friend who's straight, but clearly Colt is straight so i feel like we're gonna have to find someone else for noah and i was thinking mr mikatani's son who's very fabulous and very different to noah maybe they could be a cute match uh because noah is kind of like he's not a fabulous kind of gay at all he's he's very like kind of a mellow personality so i think it would be kind of a nice balance between the two of them i mean i don't think it's going to be an issue him being interested in cult though like he can move past that um it just would have been cool if Colt had, you know, been into uh -huh. him as well. So what we might do is I think it's time for Noah to break up with Bianca. Clearly their relationship that is not is going it. well. Uh -huh. So we're going to call her over and she, I don't know what she's going to do, like how she's going to react to this. Um, Cause she's Miss Perfect. She likes having a boyfriend. She likes oh, everything she in control. She's dating like one of the most skilled athletes and jocks from their school so she's in a very secure relationship and he has a lot of money too and her parents their parents are friends <laughs> oh this is so awkward how do you break up with bianca lockwood okay maybe they should go i feel like they need to go somewhere a little bit more private okay so it's all kind of seeming chill and stuff but i feel like bianca might have a feeling that something's not right here I don't think that I can do this anymore. She's like, what? Oh. Oh no. He's like, I'm so sorry, Bianca. Do you hate me? Should I leave? Maybe. He looks pretty sad, but I, I just don't think he was he wasn't into her at all. I'm so surprised she's so chill. I mean, she does look pretty sad. <laughs> That's exactly what I would do. Make some hamburgers and eat them all. A whole plate. All of these. Eat them all. That is the best way to get over a breakup. Okay, I think now that Bianca's had a little bit of time to let that settle in, that they've broken up, I think it's about now that she should let uh, Noah have it. She could beg for forgiveness. Let's see. Let's see if she want, if she can play that card. She can try and manipulate herself out of this situation. She's like, are you sure? I mean, we've invested so much time into this relationship. I mean, my mother, she's going to miss you so much. Get the mom involved and then you'll feel really bad and really scared. Oh no, now they're fighting. <laughs> she's like, well, I better change my Facebook status. <gasps> Is he leaving her? She should be like, do, do not leave me. She should spread a nasty rumor about him as well. 
It's like, you know what? Fine. You have no idea what you're missing out on. <gasps> oh, it's the cow plant. It's the secret cow plant. Throw some shade, and then I think she should she should get moving. She should move on. She needs to find a really, really attractive guy to get with to make... She thinks it's going to make him jealous, but obviously it's not. Well, he'll, he might be jealous that she's with that guy because he'll be really good looking. And then they went their separate ways. Oh, so sad. So sad. Is this a stray? Burger! Oh my god! It's, it's the breakup dog. She should... Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, we should, we should bring the stray home and then her mom will let her have the stray because of the breakup. Although I feel like yeah, Bianca is so superficial, she would want, like, she might not have the heart to take a dirty stray home. She might just want a new pet. I think actually she's that kind of sim, which breaks my heart. I don't want to leave this burger dog over here. Ah, don't leave the doggy. Oh my gosh. It's going to make me cry. Goodbye. Oh, I'll adopt you. Okay, so it is now the morning and we are at the Mikitani residence, which I've been wanting to come and visit for a little while. So I'm excited to be back in their beautiful Japanese inspired house. Um, and let's see what's happening. I mean, it's 5.30 in the morning and Mr. Mikitani is already, uh, Tadashi is already just practicing composing. Look at them go. I mean, the keys are pressed so quickly. It looks like they're not even moving. <laughs> anyway, Tsudashi is on that. And we have Akira down here, the fabulous Akira. And I think Akira should definitely, definitely get with Noah. I just feel like they would be such a cute couple. Um, and he is so cool. He's like the kind of guy who would wear a fur jacket with combat boots <laughs> and eyeliner and he's just really edgy and really awesome. I really wish we had a fur jacket in the game because uh, that would just be cool, like a long fur jacket for him. That's, that's what I imagine him wearing in real life. And then we have Emmy over here having a nice grilled cheese set grilled cheese sandwich and uh she was kind of interested in colt we all know that colt is kind of obsessed with crystal but his parents definitely don't approve of that and um crystal crystal's a loose cannon like crystal is is tricky to to be interested in i don't think you could trust her um she's very fiery and very insecure so I just feel like after everything she's kind of been putting him through, he probably finds it a little bit much now. And Emmy's so sweet. I mean, she's kind of Miss Perfect. She's a great singer. She's really good at school, I'm assuming. Let's see how she's going at school. Yeah, she's an A student at school. She's got lots of musical skills. She can dance. Um, her singing is 10 out of 10. Her, write her writing is 10 out of 10. Uh, so she is really following her dad in a, her dad's, following her dad in his footsteps. Wait, what? Following in her dad's footsteps. So she's having a little bit of grilled cheese before going to school. Um, that sounds good. And friendship wise, how's she going with friends? I mean, Bianca, I feel like she, I feel like Bianca, her and Lauren and Astrid could be a nice little girl crew. Oh, her dad's coming to say good morning. Dad's uh -huh. little princess. It's like, how did you sleep, sunshine? I feel like Tadashi is kind of getting to the stage now where he's starting to feel a bit lonely. I feel like we need to find Tadashi someone. Uh, he is a very, very, very nice bachelor in town. Oh, and these guys are good friends as well. Love it. And Akira, remember, Akira was kind of getting closer with Crystal, which is nice. Oh, Astrid is down here. Cool, cool. All right, well, I guess what we'll do is maybe speed them through school and then get them to have a catch up after school at the end of the day. All right, so it's the end of school and Akira and his sister and all of their friends have come to the rooftop bar because that's what uh, these teens do in Hampton Falls. They get their fake IDs and come and blow bubbles. <laughs> when in the Sims, oh no. Oh, Akira should, uh, Akira should notice that Noah didn't have a spot at the bubble blower. So he's like, hey, do you want my spot? Uh, even though there's a spot available now. We've got Lauren over here getting a little bit close to Colt, perhaps. I feel like she would have a little bit of a crush on him. 
And Akira, I want you go I want you to go speak to Noah because we want to get these two a little bit closer. Astrid is over here. Crystal is over Nova here, my girl. Uh, as well as a few other Sims. Oh my gosh, is he going to speak to Crystal? Oh, oh, that was already off to a really, really good start. I feel like Akira would have seen Noah around and uh, Noah would be like, oh, well, Akira's the hot new guy in town. But how? Uh, these guys are my OTP. I really want these guys to get together. I just really hope that they get along well. Oh, let's just go to town with getting their relationship up and hopefully these guys can get a little bit closer and have a little bit of a relationship. That would be really cool. And by the way, do you guys love Akira's outfit? Love this jacket. Such a cool dude. Such a cool dude. Oh man, look at this girl's get up. Love that hat. <laughs> that hat just completes the outfit. Oh, and Crystal and Astrid are getting along. Astrid looks so much like her mom. If you guys remember her mom. Oh my gosh, they look so similar. Who is this? Norma. Norma Chan. How old's Norma? Is she young? Oh no, she's an adult. She's an adult. And we've got Blaine here in his turtleneck, Mr. Ortega. Maybe these guys aren't drinking and they are behaving because the parents are here now. Love that Philippe is here. Philippe is such a, like a smooth looking businessman. Maybe let's just ask Crystal how her day is going. She's looking a lot happier than how we left off with her. I feel like him and Crystal would be best friends. Like, how are you doing? It just looks like they'd get along. Oh no, we have to go pee. Okay, well let's go tinkle and focus on Emmy a little bit. Cause where is Emmy? Uh, she's in her bathers. She's the only one who's been for a swim. Maybe we'll go talk to Colt a little bit more, give him a heartfelt compliment and show off her bathers. Um, Crystal's got a little sideways glance happening over there. Oh my god, you guys, Mr. Ortega is up on that mic. Oh my gosh, Astrid, cringe, where is Astrid? <laughs> she must be cringing so much right now. Oh, I, well, I can't even find her, she's left. <laughs> I don't blame her. So it's getting late now and I think Akira and Noah have started getting pretty close tonight. So I thought maybe Akira would invite Noah to go somewhere private. Um, because I think Akira has a feeling that Noah may be bi or he may be gay um, and he may be interested. Okay, so I've taken them somewhere a little bit more private. Oh, this is so cute. And this would be massive for Noah because he's never been with a guy before. And I feel like Akira is so confident and so nice and warm and friendly. It's a really safe place for, um, or a really safe person for Noah to be exploring his sexuality with and his attraction with. Um, and it is really quick, like it's really soon after breaking up with his girlfriend, but I think he's just been busting to really feel what he wants to feel. Um, so because this opportunity has come up, I think he just really, really, really would love to know what it feels like to be with Akira. Let's just see how this goes. <gasps> Oh, oh my gosh, maybe not. Noah's suddenly being really standoffish. Maybe he's just had a minor freak out. And Akira's like, what the hell, man? We've just had this like really nice night together. I thought you were interested. Oh my gosh, look how disappointed he is. It's like, come on, man. I thought you were, you were interested. You came to a quiet place with me. I just assumed you felt the same way. I'm really sorry. And I was like, oh, well, uh, this, this is awkward, man. I, I just wanted to be friends. <gasps> Noah, I can't believe he's made this so awkward. And now he's like all embarrassed and now he's acting all tough. No. <sighs> I really thought that he really, really wanted someone. Well, let's bail on Noah, because that's just rude, and Akira's probably like, what the hell, man? Um, and he's exhausted as well, so I think what we'll do is leave this part right here, you guys. 
I'm a little bit sad about that, but comment down below uh, which, which character you want us to play next. Do you want us to continue this and make it work? Do you want us to maybe explore um, Mr. Lockwood's affair with Morgan? Anyway, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a fantastic week, guys. It feels so good to be back. I love you guys so much and I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I will speak to you soon.